Bowman here from BW1.com. I'm going to give you my review of Samsung Music Hub. Music Hub is Samsung's premium music service available finally here in the US. It's for exclusively to Galaxy S3 devices. Currently, it just came out today and it's going to be on the 18T US LA versions currently. Sprint, Verizon, and T-Mobile will get their update for it soon, like coming down the road. So everybody here in the US will be able to have access to it. Two versions, a free and as a paid version. We're gonna focus on the premium version, Music Hub Premium, which is $10 a month and does have a free 30-day trial for everybody to at least try it out. So when you start using, um, the, using the uh, premium version here, you're gonna go to your uh, Computer, you're gonna download the music manager. It's gonna upload all of your current songs, either from iTunes or a Windows Media Player or whatever folder that you choose to upload it with. It's gonna upload everything. It isn't DRM, so if it has a, if this music has DRM on, it's not gonna be able to upload the files there for you. So just be take take note of that. You're gonna be able to see all this music available here with within here once you've uploaded. It. And what it what it does is a uh, scan and match. So the service is gonna scan sort of what you have on there. And if it can find a match available in Samsung's old ca catalog that's powered by Seven Digital, it's gonna give you, give you access to a high quality version of that. If not, it's gonna upload. You can have 100 gigabytes of storage available for match song so that's pretty cool and um, sort of it'll have it organized just basically where you have it organized on here if you choose iTunes or Windows Media Player it'll sync your playlist as well too it's a little bit of an issue it doesn't really back sync so if you change something on here it doesn't really back sync to, the, to iTunes or Windows Media Player from what I found so maybe there's a bug they need to fix there with that but um, these are all your songs. Anything that is sort of, um, you can see stuff that's grayed out versus what's highlighted. Anything that's sort of highlighted is a song that I've already played and it's gonna cache the song that you've played before. So if you play it, it'll cache it down on there. You can also choose to leave it on your device if you wanna just pin it on there and, and keep it on your SD card or local storage does have the option to choose between the two and you can store it on there as well too. Now this works over Wi-Fi and for GLT. We currently have it on Wi-Fi right now just to make it a little bit faster with it but um they both work pretty fast on there and it's conscious of which one you, you want to download so if you have, you're on a meter data plan you can only you don't maybe only want to download via wi-fi stream only wi-fi and any, anywhere else you can only use local you can um use um local wi-fi or something like that or you can just kind of arrange it around to your data needs basically is what i'm saying there so let's go ahead and play uh, a song here we can do a quick search actually search pretty quickly so let's go to uh, let's go to bright lights bigger city you can see it right there. And what it, what it'll do here is that if it could tell you're on a fast connection, you'll see this little HQ next to it. It'll play a high quality version of it for you. You get the little arrow next to it, it gives you options to add the playlist, find similar music, unload from the device since I've already played this before. Go ahead and play it. Easy as like that. And you tap them down now playing, this sort of gives you sort of the, the player information right here, sort of what you have, you play pause, you can scratch between the track or drag or skip between the track here like that you have the choice to you know repeats you can hit there to give you recommendations a little light bulb there you can share on social networks such as facebook and twitter you can add it to a different playlist here if you want to you can tap it and it actually brings up to the bigger bigger album cover version there you can also hit the L here, and if it's available in the store that'll actually in the Seven Digital uh, sort of music store, they can actually give you the lyrics to the song. So I found that to kind of work sometimes, sometimes not work. It really just depends if it has the lyrics to the song available. And just to get back to your play, you can just hit quite tap the Q here. You can get to the Q, so you can queue up everything within here and see what's in here, and you sort of organize that around as you want to. You can also let's go ahead and head back to the library just by hiding the player. Heads back to the library here. Also, if you uh, hit the home button and you want to go back home. You actually have the player up here available too so you can play pause and control it via the notification section here. Open it up there and um, we'll actually head back here once. Go into another part of the device here so you can see the different playlists. You can actually hit on my device so if you just want to have offline play you can see what's sort of on here. You can play what's on, on what's uh, offline as well. Oh, I'll just show you. This also is had it on landscape mode as well too so you can see there uh, Mars not as big you can make it a little bit bigger there but you have the same controls here as you did before go ahead and head back here we'll go into the actual uh, other feature that you have here premium service which is the catalog feature now free you can only listen to 30 second clips but with the paid version you basically it's very similar to zoom pass if you guys remember uh, or have a zoom pass or use zoom pass before you basically get unlimited streaming through all the music here and it has it organized by top hits and stuff like that and you can search through so 
dance music if you want to listen to David Guetta and stuff like that. You can go through here. It even has albums. And if you want to download those albums of artists, you can just add them onto your own catalog. So let's say we want to add this uh, song here. We'll let it play. It's just queuing it up. You can see it's playing right there. And what we can do here is we can actually add this song. Oop, let me go back one. That's sort of how you rotate through songs there, as you can see. But let's say I want to add that previous song here, Madness. I want to add that. I can add to my cue. I can add your vibe, chill vibe. I can add to my music. So adding it to my music now puts it in the my music section so I can play through there without having to come back within the player here in the catalog section here to actually play it, so, which is a cool feature. It doesn't let you download or anything like that locally, but I mean um, to your computer or anything like that, but you can at least download it to the device if you want to. And let's just show you the settings inside here that you do have the option of different stream options. You can stream only storage, storage limits, and storage devices. You can use USB storage, SD card device memory, and stuff like that as well. So to show you quickly some of the settings right there, portrait only if you only want to use it in a portrait mode storage devices stream only kind of get the idea right there go ahead and head back here out of there we'll go back to my music and that actual song I think it was called madness well I can't remember the name of the song but I knew I, I knew I have this song here Ike's mood which is something I actually don't have on my um, don't have in my library but it is available through the catalog that I've added here on from the catalog on the here so now I'm able to search it within the uh, within the my music section so it makes it a little bit easier there pretty cool next thing you have here is the radio simple radio you can customize it as you want to it'll play songs as you go along you can't really skip through the songs um, as well you just want to play so you got it's gonna kinda play whatever is currently on that particular radio station set the way set the way it is and you can kinda get recommendations and stuff like that You can't really skip anything like that, but it works like a radio. We've seen those before. We'll go ahead and stop that right there. So head on back here. You do have a recommendation engine as well, too. So based on what you're listening to, it's going to kind of figure out what it wants to, to kind of give you an idea, suggest different music. You know, you may want to download, buy, or you may want to add to your... Uh, and to your my music and you can still buy music through here and anything you buy then becomes definitely does become a part of your my music but the only thing is I can't seem to find is a way to re-download if you want to download it onto your computer or something like that you really didn't have an option for that so I'm pretty sure that's gonna come soon and you can see it's gonna look through artists it's gonna be able to recommend radio stations based upon your listening as well too not a big radio person so that's probably why there's not much there but you do have recent sections so all the recent music that you've played will queue right up within here and you know search simple search through your music there tagged if you want to tag different um different music you can tag it within there and you have your account your downloads settings and such and so on you also have equalizer doesn't have too much in terms of uh customization you really just have a few different options here you can go back to custom to just sort of uh change your base mid treble and volume and such there to sort of customize that around so not too many options there with that so that is the music player pretty much in a nutshell. It's really it's, it's a simple player. We've seen music players before. It's really what the service that they're offering here, uh, offering here with the catalog and the radio, being able to stream and customize your own radio and being able to have your library up to 100 gigs loaded up and be able to have access to it on your, here on right on the device and to be able to store it locally for offline usage at, at a pretty high quality bit rate. Some of the things that really what Music Hub is offering here. Now, as I mentioned before, there is a web player. The web player, I really Really have to say I'm not, I wasn't too excited about it. it really wasn't that good it was kind of a it was okay but for the big music listener if you're really a person that's really really into organizing their music and really listens to a whole lot of music it, the, the play, web player is going to be pretty disappointing because it's it's average it's kind of plain it's kind of clunky to sort of get around it's definitely not as intuitive or as smooth as sort of the web player or sort of I'm sorry the app is here on the phone so hopefully maybe they'll match the app with the web player to give it a little bit of a better vibe. I also had issues with syncing. There isn't. There is a uh, option when you plug your Galaxy S3 in that the device will actually hard sync all of your uh, files directly to the storage card, so you can have a local file file storage if you just want everything just to load up on there. But that didn't seem to really work as well. And also with playlists, like I said, playlists seem to sync a little bit slow. So if you do something within Windows Media Player or iTunes to edit, it takes a little bit of time before it shows up on there. And also, it doesn't really sync back changes. If 
if you make it in the web player, it doesn't sync it back over to it. But other than that, it's definitely a service worth trying at, um, at with a free 30 day trial and at 10 bucks a month and having access to all that music and being able to have your music in the cloud. It's definitely worth looking at exclusive to Galaxy S3 devices, but I imagine that many other Samsung devices are going to be having this feature available. So, you know, you can sync stream between your tablet, maybe an MP3 player, maybe even in your, your TV and such like that. You'll be able to sort of stream all your content along just through using the Music Cup application. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com. If you liked our review, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, post them right here below on our YouTube channel, on, on this particular YouTube video right here as well, on our YouTube channel and on our main website at BW1.com. Be sure to follow us on, on all of our social media from Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest. The link to all of that is in the description. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube page. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.